Shalom, but to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I taught us this word. I uh, just want to get more into prophecy um, and just keeping your eyes out on the, the Middle East. Uh, I came across this article uh, from Zero Hedge, uh, dated October 20th, um, entitled Israel Approves a $1.5 billion Budget for Potential Attack on Iran. And that just goes into the, uh, you know, beating your plowshares into swords, you know. They're, they're ramping up their budget uh, to beef up or to build up their, their military, you know, so that they can attack Iran, you know. And that's one of the major prophecies that, you know, we need to look for is uh, the invasion of Iran. So that way, you know, Russia can be a guard unto them and get the, and get this World War Three started. Uh, but it's entitled, Israel Approves 1.5 Billion Budget for Potential Attack on Iran. Uh, according to a report from Israel's Channel 12, the Israeli uh, government approved a 1.5 billion budget to prepare for a potential attack on Iran. Uh, the extra funds would be used to purchase additional aircraft, surveillance drones, and the munitions needed to strike Iran's underground nuclear facilities. Uh, the report said about 620 million would come from the 2022 military budget, and the rest of the funds would come from this year's budget. Now, for years, Israel has been seeking bunker busting bombs that could penetrate Iran's underground facilities. If they did acquire the munitions, Israel would also need bombers capable of carrying them something it currently doesn't have. The US tested a new 5,000 pound bunker buster, buster earlier this month, which Israeli media interpreted as a possible message to Iran. Uh, in July, it was reported that the Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF, requested additional funds for next year's budget to prepare for the operation against Iran. Throughout the year, the IDF the F chief of staff has repeatedly said the IDF is accelerating plans to strike Iran and Israeli politicians have constantly been threatening the Islamic Republic. Yeah, it's the least of the flock drawing them out. You know, Israel's going to, Israelis, they're going to start off this war. You know. uh, Israel frequently carries out covert attacks against Iran's civilian nuclear program, but the IDF planning suggests an overt operation could happen in the future. And the U.S. has joined Israel in issuing threats against Iran. So yeah, you know, wars, rumors of wars, threats of wars, you know, the, you know, this most like determination to gather these nations, and, you know, he's working, you know. But yeah, the first scripture is that Joel 3 and 10 you know, beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruning hooks and the spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Yeah, so that's uh, you know, beating their agricultural uh, tools into, into weapons so they can go to war, you know. And so what Israel's doing right now, you know, they're preparing their budget that they could potentially be, be spending on other things for their country, but, you know, they're spending it on, uh, you know, munitions and war, and weapons of war, you know. And they're saying that they're strong, man. They're putting it out there. Just like the article said. You know, it's, uh, they're carrying out these threats, you know, which Israeli media interpreted as a possible, you know, message to Iran, you know. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit and judge all the heathen around the valley of the valley of Jehoshaphat in the Middle East, you know, the Middle East. Yeah, just like the Lord said, you know, the next scripture is uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to play, the prey. For it is my determination to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. 
and all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, he's going to gather all the nations and he's going to nuke them all, you know. He's going to drop them nuclear missiles on all those nations, man. Valley of Decision, you know. Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Middle East, the, the Armageddon, uh, the Mount of Troops, you know. So that's the most high determination to gather all these nations in the Middle East by World War Three, and then, you know, pour his pour upon them his indignation, his righteous anger. You know, and devour with the fire of his jealousy. You know, that's the those nuclear missiles, man. So yeah, Israel's going to be destroyed with the missiles, and America's going to be destroyed with those missiles. But you know, Israel, like, like you always say, is going to get built back up. You know. You know, our kingdom is going to be established. So, you know, these things must come to pass. As, is, as the scripture says, you know, which I said, like, these things must come to pass. Man. We have to look for these prophecies. So this has to happen. You know, they have to push that, push that chip. And ultimately, this World War Three has to come to pass. And these nuclear missiles have to drop, you know, so that our kingdom can be established. The last scripture is on Revelation 7.1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea or on any tree. Yeah, the destruction, you know. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees. So we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Yeah, so as you can see how all this is building up, man, the elect is almost sealed, man. The elect, you know, the word has been spread across the four corners of the earth through the internet. You know, that's how we know it's another prophecy of the end times. This world is going to be published throughout all the earth, and then the end will come. So the, the elect is almost sealed, man. We're almost there. Boy, we just gotta just hold on just just a little bit, you know, endure into the end. And, you know, the same shall be saved. Uh, yeah, but with that, you know, I just want to bring up this article. You know, Israel proves, you know, a billion dollar budget. You know, with the, you know, building up their military, building up their weapons. You know, and as soon as they invade and go on Iran, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, Russia is gonna be a guard unto them, man. A guard unto to Iran. So that's what we're looking for, you know. Uh, but with that, no shalom.